There is concern about parvovirus spreading through the valley and infecting dogs. It should be a concern if you have a dog or if you see a stray dog on the street. But what about cats? A look at parvovirus and what you need to know about the virus. A healthy dog is active. Parvovirus makes a dog lethargic and it is dangerous. It causes vomiting, fever, and severe diarrhea. If you see any symptoms in a dog, act fast. You don't want to waste time on that. You want to get them to the doctor. Dogs get parvovirus by coming into direct contact with another infected dog or by sniffing an infected dog's feces. And this is almost a little bit early for it to show up, but it's showing up and we're getting a lot of feedback that it is spreading through the community. It's highly, highly contagious. A rabies vaccine is required in Mahoning County. A parvo shot is not. It's normally a spring thing, but a couple dogs showing symptoms of it are in quarantine at the dog warden's office. Those dogs will be kept away from others for two weeks. Parvovirus spreads quickly among animals which are not vaccinated against it. The dog warden is concerned that people who find a stray dog may not realize it has parvovirus and infect another dog. Please bring that dog you find to the pound so that we can take the proper protocols and make sure that this doesn't go farther than it needs to. Parvo can potentially be fatal, but survival rates can be high if caught early. The best defense is a smart owner who gets their dog vaccinated. That is your first line of defense. Call your veterinarian, make sure that your dog is current on uh, the distemper parvo vaccine. Now, there are different types of parvovirus. Dogs get the virus, which only affects dogs. Cats only get the virus, which affects cats.